Hello everyone, this is Robin, I'm live again today. I wanted to just do a really quick live where I just show you the project and kind of show you what I wanted to do with it earlier today that I never ended up doing. So I'm gonna give you guys a second. I'm actually gonna post this on my website and this will also be posted on my Pink Stamper, or I'm sorry, on my YouTube channel and my Pink Stamper Dot com today. So hello, welcome you guys. Hi Bridget. Welcome, welcome. I know this is the second time. So today, if you guys watched my show earlier, hi Sheila. If you guys watched my show earlier today, I demonstrated how to make this with the watercolor wash. I'm addicted to this new, well it's not really new. I've done it in the past, but you know when you forget something and then you start doing it again later and you're like, oh my goodness, I totally forgot how much I loved it. So, I'm going to be showing this again. Hi, Jan. Hi, Amy. Hi, everybody. So, really quickly, this will be posted on my mypinkstamper.com probably tomorrow, um, along with my new Project Life card class that I'm excited to share with you guys. Um, hi. Hi, Chriselle. Oh, are you watching the old live from this morning? The old live. So, this one, I'm not going to do this one. I'm actually going to change it up a little bit. I'm changing out... Uh, which color am I changing out? So I'm changing the top color. So this one was Pool Party. And I'm going to actually demonstrate Mint Macaron. And then the middle one was, I actually used Coral, which looks really nice with the watermelon. I'm going to do the watermelon this time. And then the bottom is going to stay Sweet Sugar Plum, which is actually, actually my favorite part of this card. And... I'm going to do everything else the same, except for the love. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and emboss it and use our silver powder, embossing powder, and maybe show you guys that a little bit more. I'm still using the double take stamp set. I like to use the E blocks for putting to put the reinkers on. If you guys haven't watched any of my watercolor videos yet, I actually just updated my blog about 10 minutes ago. I posted three videos. One was that I just filmed last night, and then I posted two that I totally forgot to put on my website. So one was from last week. It was the live where I'm doing watercolor wash again, and then I forgot to post my pen watercolor pencils video. So if you guys are watching this later right on YouTube, don't forget to go back and look at the videos that you might have missed. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start with our piece of watercolor paper. I do need to get something. Maybe I'll just use the paper. I might just use the paper. Okay, so watercolor paper, and I'm gonna go ahead and put, these are our Stampin' Refills. I recommend that once you guys purchase the ink pads, that you turn around on your next order and maybe start collecting the refills for the ink pads that you have. It's nice to freshen up your ink pads every once in a while and I have a video showing you how to do this it's on my my YouTube channel you can just look under that you can also search I believe you can search on my pink stamper if not I'm having my whole website redone you guys will be able to do all all sorts of fun things on my new website so those things are happening soon okay so I'm gonna take our aqua painter so, did I already say the colors? I did, okay. I'm gonna put those on the side. This is the Aqua Painter. Mine is stained now forever because I used, this morning I was using the reinker for one of our permanent colors. Okay, I'm just gonna put about one to two drops. Do you guys see that? Now you can kind of see better. I don't think you could see this morning as well when I was doing this. Okay, they're really loud downstairs. Okay, I'm just going to put that up there. And I kind of want the separation of the colors like I did this morning. And I'm just going to use a piece of, I'm gonna use this for embossing. I don't have my wipe over here anymore, so I'll just do this until it runs clean. Perfect, perfect. And then I'm going to use the next color, which is the watermelon. Mix it around. This one's gonna be nice and bright, I can tell. Doesn't that look like it? You can just add more water. Whoa, that's really gonna be dark. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's beautiful. It certainly is gorgeous. Okay, if you wanted it to be lighter, just add more water. It's easier to add color after than it is to make it lighter 
after, just a little tip for you guys. Okay, probably easier if I had a paper towel, huh? All right, and now I'm going to be using the Sweet Sugar Plum. This is super fun if you guys haven't tried it. I highly recommend it. I love the Sweet Sugar Plum on this paper. It's so gorgeous. Okay, I really like this color combo. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this? I like that this can be interactive and then I can post it later as a regular video. But I have all my comments that I, I'm answering live, which is super fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and dry this like I did earlier. Hi guys, this is the second live today. I know, I felt I had to redeem myself after this morning. I never finished this project the way I wanted to do it. Okay, so this is our heat tool, our Stampin' Up! heat tool. And I'm just using this, you can use this for embossing, which I'll do in a minute. But it's also great to just dry things that you are, like water cut, you see how it's all warped? So once I start drying this, it'll really straighten out. It'll really flatten out a little bit, a lot more actually. See, it's, do you see it? It's like a shrinky dink, <laughs> but it's paper. And I'm kind of going like this every so often because I just don't want to burn the paper. You know, I just don't want the burnt look. This is, look at how pretty that is. My favorite, again, is still the Sweet Sugar Plum. It looks so good. Okay. This looks so fun. It looks like I'm so artistic, you guys. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly Polder. How are you, how are you doing? Good to see you on here. Good to see my teammates on here. As well as my awesome viewers and my customers. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. I just really don't want this wet when I'm embossing because the embossing powder is going. Aren't they so pretty? I love these. Happy Valentine's, Kelly. Did you see my post on our team page? You guys are all my Valentine's today. Well, I do have my husband, but you guys are still my Valentine's. Okay. <sighs> uh, you need to, Angela. It's so addictive. I almost can't stop. Like all of my swaps, all of my customer cards, my team cards, most of them have been watercolor in the past two weeks, week and a half. So if you guys want the watercolor pencils, I would snatch them up today if you haven't already. They're probably going to be going on back order again soon. If you missed my beautiful U class, maybe I should post a, post a re session three for you guys. That one comes with the watercolor pencils. Okay. Wouldn't that be, you're right, Jan, that would be so gorgeous. Maybe I should try that next. I love it when you guys suggest things for me. Jan said that this would be so pretty if we cut it out in a heart with the framelit. It would be so gorgeous. Okay, so I think this is dry enough. It feels like it's pretty dry. Okay, now we're gonna do something fun. I want the sweet sugar plum on the bottom. So we're going to be using just the silver. This is the old Stampin' Up! embossing powder. Look at our old label. Um, this used to be called Sterling Silver. Now it's just called Silver. It's the same stuff. This is our Versamark ink pad, our watermark pad. So this you can be this can be used for embossing, but you can also use it for a watermark and a background. And I'm using from this one. I think I'm going to make the, so. If you're on my team and you promoted to Bronze Elite last month, I might do this card for you guys when I send out your, your little promotion goodie, but I think I might use congrats. So you guys kind of this, maybe this is what I'm going to do because I just love this technique so much. Okay, so double take. You guys might have missed this in the new occasions catalog. You might need to take a double take. Maybe that's why it's called that because maybe you kind of are looking at all the other cute stuff and you miss it. This is a must have. There's thanks, hooray, congrats, love for you. I mean, there's so many ones that you'll use all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use our embossing buddy or Stampin' Emboss, whatever it's called. I'm just going to put it across here. Just, it helps with the static and I don't want any little pieces sticking up on that. Okay, so I'm going to emboss this or put some, I'm putting lots of, lots of our Versamark on there. Make sure you have everything ready. I'm going to put this right on the love. Press it down firmly. 
pull it off and I'm going to just put the silver on top of it like this. Ta-da, do you guys see that? Oh, I love it. I love, I see one little spot sticking in the middle of the O. That will bother my OCD-ness. I'm a little sometimes OCD, but not that much. Okay, perfect. Look at how this is going to look great when we, um, somebody's celebrating their 19th, da their daughter's 19th. I missed it. I missed your name. I just saw your comment a little bit. Happy birthday. My daughter turns 19 in April. My oldest. Time flies so fast. Enjoy your little ones. Snuggle up with them. I was thinking today or last night when I was working on goodie bags, Valentine's, I was thinking, I don't have very many more years. This is the last year I'm making them for Thomas. He's going into middle school next year. And then I only have Brayden. I only have two more Valentine's for goodies for his class. Okay, again, this is our stamp and heat tool. And I'm going to just put you guys up really close so you can get a good look. You'll be able to see it start to change consistency. Try not to burn your finger, have it away from you, or use tweezers or something. Can you guys see that? It's all shiny now. So you probably wouldn't have known if you never stamped before or you've never embossed. You probably didn't realize that you can make you can do that yourself, you guys. Is this so hi Marilyn? I'm back. Uh oh yeah, you can use paintbrushes too, Brittany. That is a very good technique. Um, okay, so I have this here, and I'm just going to make this a card, finish it up here for everybody. I'm going to let that sit just for a second. Okay, so I have a Whisper White thick piece of cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I went ahead and I scored it at four and a quarter with my trimmer. The trimmer our Stampin' Trimmer has the scoring blade as well as the cutting blade, blade on it. Okay, I'm going to fold that over. And... I'm gonna go ahead and put, let's see here. Where am I doing this? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my regular snail. And I'm going to put my, this is, okay, let me tell you the sizes, cause I don't wanna forget. Let's see here. So this, did I tell you guys this size? This is three by four. So this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I believe I did this next one. So I think this is four and three quarters, the watermelon wonder cardstock, four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay. So I will have these on the screen for you guys. So don't worry if you guys are trying to write these measurements down because this is a live show. Don't worry. I'm also going to have this be my video for tomorrow or Friday. I'm going on a date tonight with my husband. Can you believe that? We're going out for Valentine's. We're just going to go to dinner. We just did the we don't really go all out for Valentine's. So I got him some chocolates this morning and, and then he's taking me to dinner and it's good. So when your hobby is like everything that, you, not your hobby, when your job is what you want anyway, it's really hard to shop. I'm really hard to shop for because I'm like, I just wanted Stampin' Up stuff and <laughs> I already get that, right? Okay, so I'm just using this tape. My tape is over on the other counter. I thought my kids took it this morning, and then I saw that I had, somebody had put it on my other table. Must have been my, it must have been my kids. Okay, this is the Stampin' Up 1 8 Silver Ribbon. I'm gonna have the item number on my screen for you guys. Okay, hi guys, I'm kind of glancing up at comments every once in a while, so I'm so sorry if I'm missing some of your wonderful comments. You guys are so amazing to me. I'm so grateful that I get to share what I love with you guys almost every single day. You make my job the best job in the world. How many people can say that? And I'm sure a lot of you guys can say that you have the best job in the world, but I truly believe that my job was just is just wonderful. Okay, so I'm using nine dimensionals. I know that's so many, but remember you get 300 in a pack. So what is nine? When, you're, when you have so many left over. I love them. I add my dimensionals onto every one of my orders. I seriously did. I just ordered some more people signed up for my Dragonfly Dreams class. If you guys want a spot, I still have the, it open. Just email me. I'll send you the links. I have been lazy today. I'm watching some shows. I went and got a smoothie <laughs> after my live show this morning. 
I was a little bit exhausted. And then I get back on. And then I updated my blog. So I really haven't had time to like close out that class. So I'm just, as you guys are emailing me and you're sending me your pre-orders, I'm going turning around and just ordering right away because I've already placed my big order for the class. So if you guys want a spot, I'll squeeze you in because I'm kind of slow on my Project Life class as well. I know some of you guys are waiting for that class. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for being so supportive of me. Okay, here we go. So I just put glue dots on top of the dimensionals because it'll make sure it really stays on top of the glimmer. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Let me zoom in for you guys. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, yay, I'm so happy you love it. And here's the one that I did earlier today. So I like them both. I love this one the most though. I really, really love that one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign out um, and get this edited so I can post it tomorrow for you guys and do all of my other social media stuff. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'm Robin Stamps, R-O-B-Y-N Stamps. I post a different, I post a new project or a new project. I post something every day. And I also have something super exciting coming up for my customers. You have to be one of my customers. So if you want to be part of my new fun thing I'm doing, you just have to place an order on mypinkstamper.stampinup.net in the past three months, and you'll be part of my new surprise that I'm doing. I can't wait. You guys are going to love it. And I will probably announce that in the next week. But for now, I'm just going to work on this stuff. So have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I will see you all very soon. Um, thanks so much for stopping in. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.